Simon at Pasternak, the Stop Skin Picking Coach, and today we're going to talk about lip picking. By the way, you can find my website and my books and any products I might mention in these videos in the description below. So I thought I'd tell you a story about one of my clients. Let's call her Alicia, not her real name. Alicia had a terrible problem with picking her lips. It started as a child and it went on for a couple of decades. And she tried and tried to stop, you know, same story you've probably experienced yourself and just could not, you know, stop at all. So she came to see me and what was really amazing was that it really didn't take very long for her to stop. And I'm going to explain what she did and why that made a difference for her. So the first step in stopping picking of any sort is to become aware of when you're doing it. And for this, I had Alicia write down a number of things each and every time she noticed herself picking or what it, even when her hands were just going to her lips. And you can find in my book the exact format of how to do this and explanation in full. What Alicia realized in keeping a log of her behavior for a week was that she would only do this in a few situations. There was the habit, but it was especially whenever she would either thought about her family or had to talk about or talk to her family. Um, there was just a little bit of added stress and responsibility. She had to take care of them and that was just when she would notice immediately going to her lips. When do you find yourself picking your lips? Are there patterns that you've already noticed? And please share in the comments so everyone can benefit. So then after recognizing what your patterns are, what you wanna do is keep lip balm everywhere that you need it. So she noticed also she would tend to do it in the car. So she had some lip balm in the car, in her purse, um, really anywhere around the house when you need it because that was going to be her replacement behavior, okay? As soon as she began, she would put the lip balm on instead and then she wouldn't want to touch her lips with that and wouldn't, you know? So you can use, if you prefer, you can use some lip gloss or something if that's your preference. It probably will work fine as well, as long as it's nice and moisturizing. And then it was very simply a practice of being consistent with this and still writing down, keeping track of every time her hands even went to her lips because well beyond the amount of time that she started picking, she would still notice touching a few times, okay? And she kept keeping track of that because that continued to bring her awareness to it. Now, Alicia also happened to be a daily and long-term meditator. So I think that really helped her as well to just have such an ability to be aware and to be able to stop and think rather than to compulsively automatically keep picking. So that's another skill that I completely recommend. Um, and there are a lot of meditation apps to learn if you'd like to. My favorite one is called 10% Happier, but I've had clients have a lot of success using Calm, Headspace, Insight Timer, all these things, as well as learning meditation outside of an app in person somewhere. Another thing you can do because your lips might be peeling or you know you're definitely picking at something um, and instead of picking with your hands you'll want to use some other way to remove the rough or peeling skin so what you can do is use one of these little lip brushes this has two sides to it so you can experiment with which one you like better which works better or you might find using both one after the other is better but these are so cheap on Amazon. They're like four for $5, I think, when I got them. And then I saw that I was in a Dollar Tree and they had one there too. So this is something, you know, sometimes you're actually craving the sensation, okay? Even though afterwards, maybe it feels horrible, your lips hurt, they're bleeding, 
but this also can just give you a nice sensation. So lip brush can be helpful too. So Alicia was not just a meditator, but she really did have all her lifestyle points in line. So she was a good eater. She exercised, she meditated. She was happy with the circumstances of her life aside from the lip picking. And so there really were very few things she needed to work on. Um, but still she felt it was just a miracle. It was something she had not been able to stop for so long. So for you, it's possible there are other components to this. You might need to slow down. You might need to reduce stress with exercise, sleep well, have a healthy diet, low sugar, reduce caffeine. All of those things can be helpful too. Now this video is part of a full series on picking different body parts, how to stop. So I will link that here in case you wanna check out any of the other parts in the series. And please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Now let's help each other and be there for each other in the comments. Yeah, take care.